Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related, girl. Today I'm going to be doing a do-it-yourself DIY mask. I'm going to be using aloe vera, honey, and lemon juice. You guys, let me just say this. Let me, let me just say this because I know I'm like like a luxury skincare junkie. However, I totally understand people not always wanting to buy luxury skincare or you wanna know what, I don't wanna just single out luxury skincare. I mean skincare in general. Sometimes the idea of going to like Ulta or Sephora is kind of daunting to some people. Like sometimes people are genuinely just like, I don't wanna go in there. There's way too many products. It's way too complicated. I don't know what is what. And then the same thing kind of happens when you online shop. There's so many products, you don't know what to do with them. At this point, a lot of people like to resort to what is already in their kitchen. And that is okay. I do see different types of outlook on DIY products. I know certain sugars and certain coffee grounds, they say causes micro tears in your skin and this, 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 and that. And wanna know something, sometimes in the skincare community, we don't always have the right answers. We don't always, like, just because something's trending, it might not be because it's good for your skin. It might just be trending. Or sometimes people put a certain idea down about a trend so much that they're not actually accurate either. So I like to see things in the skincare community full circle. I don't like to count things out and I, like, I try to keep an open mind as much as possible and try to be as understanding as I possibly could be, especially when it comes to DIY things and different trends as I said before. So let's get started making this mask. I do wanna let you guys know that in the past when I had suffered from acne and like dryness before my La Mer days, um, I couldn't get any product to fix my issues and the only product that I can get to even remotely fix the texture and clarity of my skin was actually honey. Plain old honey that you get from the grocery store. I literally would use it as a mask, honey only. And let me tell you something, it's detoxifying properties and it's natural antibacterial abilities makes it a great product to put on your skin to get bacteria out, to help out acne, and of course, give back some nourishment, hydration, and give you guys a beautiful, beautiful glow. So I have nothing but fantastic things to say about honey, and honestly, what can honey do to your skin? Like nothing, it's a honey. Like anybody who has a problem with honey, baby, I, I, I don't know, we'll take it up with the dermatologist. Who doesn't read about aloe in a skincare product? Sunburns, hello. Every time you buy like banana boat products, what's in them? Aloe vera, number one. So let's just skip the, oh my gosh, I just dripped some on my leg. Let's just skip the over the counter part and let's not settle for just aloe vera extract. Let's just do the real thing today. And then of course there is lemon, uh, lemon juice. This is the only thing that I think could be a little harsh on your skin. I don't think this is safe to just directly apply to your skin without mixing it with some sort of mask or diluting it first. And what I also wanna say is before we start making this beautiful mask, I just wanna read that the honey, aloe, and lemon juice, um, each of them have exceptional health properties taken separately, but when combined, you can obtain a powerful anti aging aging face mask, an intensely detoxifying concoction, and a real rejuvenation elixir. While honey and aloe deeply nourish your skin with enzymes, mineral salts, and vitamins, lemon cleans your face with mild fruit acid. Yes, ma'am. We're in it. We're here. Let's put it all over our face. So let's just mix these three ingredients together and make this beautiful little non-abrasive mask. So first thing I'm gonna do, now I did find this mixture. It didn't give me like really like any instructions. I just saw this mixture and I was like, yes, I have it all in my kitchen. I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna cut the aloe vera with a knife. Now I do wanna let you guys know, I do already have clean skin. I just got out of the shower and I, it's, Obviously, honestly, I'm glowing, and that's another cleanser for another video. 
So I'm gonna cut, perform surgery on this little aloe plant. God rest her soul. I love having an aloe vera plant in the house. I use it way more than I ever thought I would. Like anytime my husband gets egg, like I burn myself or my husband cuts himself, I'm always like, aloe vera. And we're gonna open it. There is all of that little natural aloe vera gel. I was always surprised by the smell of aloe vera. I'm going to mix everything together in this little glass bowl with this little spoon and also apply my mask with this mask applicator. So I'm gonna scrape some of this out right into that little glass bowl. I'm take, oh my goodness, look at that fresh aloe gel. Right out of the leaf, look at it drip. Can't do drip it, drip, drip. Sorry, that's Cardi B. But anyway, look at this beautiful aloe gel. I love it. Natural is an understatement, girl. I'm growing my own skincare at this point. And you wanna know what? If you feel like your aloe vera plant's not doing too good and you need to make new room for new growth, this is a good idea, a way to, I don't know, maybe trim back your plant, prune your plant and make it useful. So we all win. I don't know. Every time I smell aloe, for, to me, it just smells like a little bit like onions. I don't know, does anyone else ever smell that? Or is that just me and my weird plan? This is the aloe gel in the glass bowl. Next, I'm going to get this lemon juice and I'm just gonna squirt um, a little bit of this in the aloe vera gel. Next, of course, is my favorite, honey. I love, 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 love honey in my skincare. So we're gonna just take this honey and I'm just gonna pour it into my mixture. Now I'm going to take my mask and I'm just going to mix all of this together. All right, everyone, so I think I pretty much have this mask mixed. It is this gorgeous, glowing, like gold color. It smells very fresh and I'm honestly, I'm excited to apply this to my face. This looks promising. All right, so I do, of course, as always, have my mirror right over here. We're going to apply this mask and we're gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. And I'm gonna tell you guys and show you guys the results, of course. Okay, this is as close up as, as I'm going. <laughs> Hi. Let's get a pop in. Let's get it, girl. It's called. Honestly, it feels very nice on my skin. I'm not surprised. Honey always feels nice on your skin. And aloe, who doesn't love refreshing aloe? This is definitely, it. first thing I notice is, is, is it's cold, AKA it feels refreshing. And I'm assuming that's from all this beautiful aloe vera from my plant. Bring it all, don't be afraid to bring it onto your acne too, because I'm telling you, honey works fantastic on acne and it also is fantastic of keeping your skin's natural oils as well. Sometimes people could really strip their skin of its natural oils and that's not good. That can actually create more oil like your skin since it's lacking moisture um, naturally because you're stripping it in return acts more to make more oil for your face and then you end up breaking out. So always make sure you're helping your skin retain its natural oil. And I've always found honey or honey products very helpful in doing that. I just got some in my mouth. Honestly, it tastes really, Oh my God, that tastes good. That tastes fresh. Oh my God. <laughs> that tastes fresh. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Okay, oh, this feels so good. <gasps> it's so soft. It's so soft. I'm not even kidding, you guys. This feels amazing. I'm in it. I'm loving this. Ah! Okay, I'm so excited. I love good skincare. All right, you guys, 15 minutes starts now, girl. 
Hi you guys, okay, so the 15 minutes are up. I'm about to go wash my face. This is what the mask looks like looks like on after 15 minutes. The only thing I wanna say is I could definitely feel the lemon juice stinging or burning my skin just a little bit. Not bad enough for me to like think it needs to come off, but I could definitely feel it. So if you're sensitive, just be mindful of how much lemon juice you use and I will be right back. Hi you guys, okay, I am back. I got the face mask off. I used it in warm water. You guys, it came right off. I never had a problem with removing honey from my face. I always thought it was gonna be like this sticky mess and hard to get off, but honestly, it comes right off and it's actually a really beautiful texture. Now, what I do wanna say is my face does feel baby, baby soft. As far as the glow goes, I definitely have a little glow going on, but I feel like, I don't know if it was just me or was my face glowier after my charcoal wash before. What I do want to say is since I did wash with like a charcoal cleanser as my cleanser tonight, my face did feel a little tight as in like dry, like I could definitely feel that. Now my skin, I do have to say, feels delicately and calmly, calmly. My face does not feel irritated, but I do want to show you, I have some redness. I'm going to zoom you guys in. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here I'm getting some irritation. So I don't know if this is where the mask ended or what exactly irritated it. My face doesn't feel tight anymore. It doesn't feel dry. It definitely feels hydrated and nourished, I think, um, and definitely soft. So I think this was a cute mask to get some type of vitality and health back into your skin. So I think this is definitely an effective and affordable alternative to actually buying a honey mask. All in all, I do think this mask could pass as a nice DIY um, mask alternative, other than like going into like my favorite like Sephora and Ulta, I totally get it. I've, I've been there. Not everybody's like a skincare or beauty person. Do you know what I mean? Like not everybody wants to like go to these like places and drop 50 bucks on a honey mask. They just want to use it in their own cupboard. And like, I totally get it. And I'm a-okay with it. Just make sure that you don't have any sensitivities to the certain DIY products that you're using that are in your cupboards. These products are not going to be luxurious. They're not going to be geared to support your skin whatsoever. I do know that masks that are made to sell as skincare products have to be certain grades. They have to meet certain ADA standards and guidelines and um, health administration. So I know... Um, honestly, I would prefer people to buy skincare products, but I do know you can't, you can't prevent it. And some people really just don't believe in buying skincare products. They just want to be super, super natural and, and take from their pantries. And for that, we do have to respect that. So the only thing that I would suggest is not using any type of grounded things. Like I could say maybe like sugar, um, DIY masks, they could be a little abrasive to your skin. Same thing with coffee. However, I've never tried them, so maybe I will do them on my channel and I'll let you guys know what I think. I think all three of these ingredients were not abrasive and they did make my skin feel soothed and it's definitely a little moisturized. And you wanna know what? I do think it helped a tiny bit with pore size. I will give it that. So all in all, I'm gonna rate this mask a B minus because the only reason is I just, I think something in here triggered some type of uh, burning and definitely some type of irritation on my jawline. And I think it might have something to do with this. So just keep in mind, not everyone's gonna be great with these with these ingredients. However, I think if you wanna just do like a good, like if you have a sunburn or something, like a good full on, aloe vera gel and honey mask, I say go for it. I really don't see how that can hurt anyone. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this DIY skincare hack that your girl is 
doing and we're all in this together you guys i love you guys if you haven't done so already subscribe to your girl's channel show her love show her support because you all know i love you so much and i love skincare everybody love you and until the next video bye